Do you know bees are mathematicians? Bees build honeycombs where they live, breed and store honey. The honeycombs are made using wax. This wax is not so easy to produce. To make one ounce of wax, bees need to consume eight ounces of honey. So they must make a structure using a minimum amount of wax while being able to store the maximum possible honey in it. What shape would be the best for this? In other words, what shape will have the maximum area if the perimeter of all the shapes is kept constant? Let's start with the triangle. Each side is 10 centimeters, so a perimeter of 30 centimeters. Let's fill it with these beads. That's 21 beads. Now, here's a square with each side of 7.5 centimeters. So, the same perimeter, 30 centimeters again. If we take all these beads and put them here, there's some space left. So the area of this square is more than the triangle. We can fill it with some more beads. A pentagon with the same perimeter. Some more beads can go here. Hexagon. Even more. The area keeps increasing with the number of sides. So. The largest area must be of the shape with infinite sides. And that is a circle. So why don't bees use circles? Well, because it leaves a lot of gaps, wasting space and making the structure less sturdy. What about polygons? Triangles don't leave any gaps. Same with squares. Pentagons, three of them joined together leave a gap, while bringing in a fourth one makes them overlap. So pentagons don't work. Hexagon, they can be arranged like this without any gaps. Three hexagons meeting at any point. What about heptagons? Two leave a gap and three of them overlap. Same with octagons and every other polygon after that. So only triangles, squares and hexagons to choose from. And with the same amount of wax, which one will have the maximum area? Hexagons. And that's why a hexagonal structure is what the bees use to store their honey. So, bees don't just buzz around, they do the maths too.